Are you serious? Don't miss today's special broadcast. We're going to talk about the seven-year peace agreement. Some people like to use it, that word. We're going to talk about the Daniel 927 covenant. We're going to talk about John Kerry's uh, announcement of uh, today in the Jerusalem Post report, Kerry to officially announce the resumption to the peace talks. We're going to discuss the four blood moon cycle over Jerusalem, the comet Ison that's coming in late November, and how the, the signs in the heavens, as it says in Luke 21, 25, for there shall be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, distress of nations with perplexity, and the sea and the waves roaring. We're going to talk about Matthew 24, how so many of those signs that Jesus said we would see are happening as we speak. And we're going to talk about the fact, who is the Antichrist? No, it's not John Kerry. And no, it's not Barack Obama. But could they participate in getting the covenant agreement signed in Israel, between Israel and the Palestinians, and 22 nations of the Arab Leagues and the 35 nation, Muslim nations? In other words, as Daniel 9.27 says, a covenant with many? Of course they could participate in that. No doubt they probably are. That No doubt they probably will. Or maybe that's what's happening as we speak. But here's the main thing. Are you saved? We're going to rest. We're going to relieve your minds that no matter what's taking place, biblically, in the signs in the Bible, Christ is the Savior. And we're in the days of grace. And right now you can be saved. But we're going to talk about the four blood moons over Jerusalem. I'm going to give you the dates and the dates of the solar eclipse and how they match up with the feast. These can't, this don't accidentally happen. I mean, and it's, it's quite evident that bi biblical scholars like John Hagee and Perry Stone and Jack Van Impe uh, and Hal Lindsey uh, truly understand that the significance of these biblical signs and the peace agreement with Israel and the blood moons over Jerusalem and how important all of those they play, including Mark uh, Blitz out of uh, Washington, uh, who's a tremendous biblical scholar. We all know that. I know that. And we know that. And we're going to break it down for you so that you will know how close you are to the coming of Christ. And the question is, are you saved? Don't miss the special broadcast today. It starts at 12 noon Eastern, three hours. We're going to cover it. We'll be in Psalms and Luke, Ma Matthew, Acts, Joel, Daniel, Isaiah, Matthew, 2 Thessalonians, and Revelation. We're going to cover it going to cover it. Are you serious? Don't miss it. www.paulbeckleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbeckleyprophecy.com. 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. www.paulbeckleyprophecy.com. Go to my website. Brand new website. It's beautiful. Well done by Tanya of West Virginia. Go to the live streaming page. Log in. Get in the chat room. You can also watch on livestream.com. Or if you're not home and can't, you can li <coughs> excuse me. listen to it. On your cell phone by just dialing this number, 347-324-5208. Somebody's going to get saved today. Oh, yes, I feel it. We had 12 people saved Sunday night. Uh, we had three people saved Monday. Two people saved Tuesday. We had 21 people saved the Sunday night before. Don't miss today! It's time to give your life to Jesus Christ.